here, I'll show you how to make the Y or vertical axis start at whatever you want for charts in Excel. So it could start at zero or start at 100,000 or a million or a billion or end as well at whatever you want. So I'm talking about this dude over here. And when you create charts automatically in Excel, it just kind of guesses what the bound should be. But maybe that doesn't work for your data set or what you just want your chart to look like. So insert your chart, all is good. Now let's go and edit it. First, we're gonna click the chart and I'm gonna show you a couple different ways to get to these options because Excel loves to keep updating everything and changing where it's found. So we're in the chart, you wanna change this. An amazing tip one of you showed me not that long ago, just double click the axis, perfect. Now we are actually exactly where we wanna be. So we have this little window over here and we have a bunch of different options, but sometimes you could be on the paint bucket or this dude or this dude. But what you want to do when you are in axis options, so make sure it's format axis, axis options, and then we go to the little chart bar chart thing, which is also axis options. And then we go down here to another axis options. So <laughs> it's like the third level of axis options, okay? And then you go right here to bounds. You have a minimum and a maximum. So let's watch the chart when I change my minimum. It's currently at zero. Let's say I want it to be 50,000. Awesome. And let's say I want to replace 350,000 with 300,000. Awesome. So the chart looks quite a bit different now. We've removed excess stuff or space. If you want, just go ahead and click reset and it will send you back to the default. So you see auto here, that means Excel has tried to guess what, how you wanna display it, what you want the bounds to be. And that's really all there is to it. Now I'm just gonna show you another way to get to this because in previous versions of Excel, it was a bit easier. We had a third chart option up here. So you click the chart, you now get chart design and format. And there's a lot of options here, but it's not quite like it used to be. So probably we could go here to format and format selection. Nope, it just sends us right back here. <laughs> okay, so what you can do is right click the chart or do what I just did, format, format selection, and go to format chart area. Once you're here, you're going to see this little drop down dude right here, which is basically useless, move size close, it's for this window, but you see another drop down dude right next to chart options. And if we click that, then you can select the part of the chart you want to work with. And what you want to work with is the vertical value axis. Of course, when we click that, it's going to say axis options and format axis. So it seems to have a kind of a different title, a little bit confusing, very annoying, yes. But you can use this to navigate the different parts. We're going to vertical value axis. Then we go to the little bars right here, then axis options. And if you click text options, you'll end up in the wrong place. So don't go there. <laughs> it's just they didn't need to, to have so many levels, but they do. But uh, once you're here, change the bounds. And you can also change the units. You can change lots of cool stuff from here, actually. But that's beyond this tutorial. So anyway, that's how you can change what the chart's going to start at and end at for the Y or the vertical axis.